Gotta get my bullshit cap on. Cheers. Oh, welcome to Bushcraft Bullshit, Episode 7. In this series, I take a look at outdoor bushcraft and survival videos that are surfing on trends, what's popular, copying others, and actually pure bullshit. What we're looking at is a unprecedented amount of clickbait, bright colors, and pretty nonsensical skills that are just invented to create silly content. I think that's bullshit. Therefore, the series Bushcraft Bullshit. So here we are again in the BBC, the Bushcraft Bullshit Clubhouse. Let's get going. Today I'm taking a look at some of the big names in this genre. Some of the creators who have 2 million, 10 million, almost a million followers on YouTube. We're going to take a look at some newer videos and some older videos. First one up is a guy making mosquito repellents. Now the first creator, he starts by smacking some mosquitoes, pouring out the soda, of course. He found some horseshoe tinder, and he's gonna make a mosquito repellent in a can. So this is uh, not bad. It's still a lot of bright colors and, and still a lot of trending things he's using, but it works. Smoke repels insects. And he's gonna fling it around and um, yeah have that in camp so this big fella recorded his video at August 16th 2023 and uh, we do have some copycats now the next one is well known but I'm still gonna crop out the important information so a lot of similarities smacking mosquitoes she has just added her own you know sexual twist on it as she always does and she's using cow dung instead. Now, that's pretty effective. Material that's smoldering and um, repelling mosquitoes. Same in a can, no problem. She's just added a bit of a twist on it because that's her audience. But then we have another one. Again, smacking mosquitoes, has a can. This can has a bit more, you know, flavor in it. A lot of colors and uh, still uses this knife for everything, even though it's a completely dry cow dung. But hey, we can at least applaud them for using actual, literal bullshit in their videos instead of just the techniques and methods they use. So uh, kudos, trash crafters, kudos. You got me there. Self-awareness. Now I've searched this guy's description and there's nothing to indicate that he tagged the uh, female content creator. And I'm like, why not? Why not just tag her? Instead of just contributing to a stealing copy culture. He's a big content creator. You are a big content creator. 700,000 uh, followers on YouTube and probably more on Instagram. But why not tag her? Why just continue the cycle of copying and stealing? I don't get it. Well, I do get it. It's probably just because of selfish reasons and uh, they want to take all the credit. These three videos have a thing in common that they just take from each other without giving credit. That's what bothers me most. Copy to your heart's content. But at least give credit. Come on. This one is actually from the same creator who just copied her. He has his Rambo knife, cuts the bottom of a can. Of course he does. And he does something... Yeah. Nails. Making a shovel, I guess. Gotta have the glasses on. And he's made a shovel for his... I don't know, man. He made a shovel out of a, an aluminum can to use it to take hot coal and shove it into his aluminum can. If the coal was going in there anyway, why didn't he just scoop it up with his cookware as is? I do not have the answer for that. I know his argument would be that, well, he's just presenting the idea to you. Well, if I took a bucket and I drilled a hole in that bucket and tried to fill it with water, the water ran out and someone said to me, hey, dude, that was a shit idea. And I'm like, yeah, I know, but I was just showing you the idea. You got to give me credit for the creativity of the idea. I think that's... uh think that's bullshit <laughs> you know it's the idea for the idea's sake but if the idea isn't any good 
why make it? Well, because of content. Inventing problems so that you can solve them, even though it doesn't make any sense. But credit to this guy where credit is due. He's doing a lot of drilling with an auger. He is uh, making chairs and all that jazz. And a couple of his ideas and, and creations are pretty good. There's a lot of nonsensical stuff in there that, that really isn't very practical or just downright making it as complicated as possible. But he is doing a lot of actual creative carving and work. So kudos to him. Now we've got another one of his videos and that's one of the videos that don't make any sense. It's just content for content's sake and people have roasted him in the comments for it because it's just a completely useless scenario that's never gonna happen. Let's see. So our main character has found himself tied to a rope and that rope he's tied to is tied to a tree. Fortunately there's a stump left behind from his kidnappers that he can easily step up to the rope and MacGyver is way out of. And fortunately, a machete is left behind from his kidnappers so he can cut himself loose and just take the machete and wander off. So the video is well produced. There's a lot of post edit sounds. There's a lot of zooms and cuts, different angles, taking the sun into account, sun's glare. There's a lot of effects, but to me, there's just no common sense. Apparently not at any point him filming this and editing this, he thought, well, is this even plausible? He has about the same IQ points as the kidnappers who did this to him. That kidnapper intern is probably going to be fired. I hope so, because I have not seen this level of criminal incompetence since the burglars from Home Alone or maybe those kidnappers in New York City trying to capture the baby and they get stuck in that gorilla cage. Let me know if you remember that movie, but that was a good one. <laughs> Now this one from the same creator as before, I just wanted to include that because the way they phrase their videos, because they are the ones that are phrasing their videos. So it's, you know, the caption to catch the eye of the viewer. Her caption is, this girl is a man's dream. Like a lot of other captions, like this man is a genius. This outdoor girl has a new invention. They refer to themselves in the third person. And all I can say is that, um, this commentator has had enough. Put me in a time machine and go back to the 80s because I am done. I'm done, Johnson. <laughs> Gotta keep the stupid references going and we are going strong. Okay, the last one is also from a big page and that big page uses female attributes to heighten their engagement. And again, we see the caption. This cute girl really knows how to survive. And let's see this one because this one, this is a, this is actually a big problem. Okay, so she's run out of water. She takes the etiquette off. She's making some kind of water filtration system using coffee filter and a cotton, cotton swab, cotton pad, some seaweed or bark, charcoal. Maybe she should have ground that charcoal up a bit. She's using sand as the water filter, pebbles. The order in which she does this is pretty good. It's decent. But can you spot the actual dangerous mistake she made? She's on the shore. It's not an inland lake with brackish water or something or fresh water. It's salt water. And even if it was brackish water, a mixture of fresh and salt water, it still would not filter out the salt. So what's she doing? She's just dehydrating herself, pulling more water out of her body's cells and actually dying faster. So that water might be clean of pesticides, uh, chemicals like chlorine. So charcoal does not filter salt out of water. Nothing in this concoction she just made filters salt out of salt water. The only way to do that is a, I think it's a chemical filter that, you know, induces reverse osmosis and actually separates the salt from the water. Either that or, you know, boil it and catch the condensation from the salt water and drip it into another flask. It's the only way in this scenario you would separate the water as steam from the salt. So this is just downright dangerous and this cute girl does not know how to survive. This cute girl knows how to... 
I uh, can't even say something nice. She does have a perky attitude in nature. This is just dangerous. This is where it goes from, you know, bullshit to downright dangerous things to teach people. Filter the salt out of ocean water by using charcoal and some sand. It's not possible and it's dangerous. When I come across videos that are actually dangerous to people like this or the rope harness thing, you know, encouraging people to climb rotten trees, either I point it out to them or leave a comment or something or I ask in the DMs, what are you doing? I, I ask them, do you really think this is a good idea? Some of the typical answers I get when I actually get to talk to them is, oh, I'm so glad you would spend your time on me making a video or a response to it. Thank you for your time. Like I am just some kind of random hater. I kind of want to give things a fair shake on this channel. So I think I'm very fair with my opinions. And just to dismiss an, an opinion that points out what's dangerous, doesn't have to be my opinion, but there's a lot of opinions in that comment section. And just to dismiss that as being just another hater and thank you for giving me uh, traffic my way. Thank you for the time you've spent. Thank you for the views and clicks. That's what they're saying. You know, thank you for uh, being jealous and giving me your time and giving me traffic and clicks and and all that engagement. It's way too easy just to dismiss people as haters, especially in some of these downright dangerous hacks. Hacks. It's a very irresponsible way to make content, in my opinion. People's opinion do matter. The stuff you put on the internet is public and people are allowed to have a voice and their opinion does matter because it's a subject you put out there and their opinion is valid. Even though if it's not a good or praising opinion, it is valid because there are always someone agreeing with them. So their opinions gain value in the community that reflects in those opinions. And then it's up to you to decide whether or not you can use that opinion and you know maybe better your content or doing some tweets or something. But just to dismiss someone's opinion as just a hater and oh thank you for giving me traffic it's too easy it's too easy sit down look at what you were putting out there and some of it may be be a joke and that's fine it's fine to joke around it's fine to copy it's fine to be silly when it's about actual things that you can't tell us a joke or not or just things that they think are in the right or is the right method it's too easy to dismiss opinions as just being haters or thank you for the traffic but that's the state of their content, I guess. That's that's their thought process. Uh, I can just post whatever I want. I can copy whatever I want. I can do whatever I want. And the ones who have a different opinion are just haters. And it's easy to say it's just for making them money and they get popular and they get brand deals and all that. But yet, yeah, it's not just that. You know, they have a huge audience and people listen. It's not their responsibility if people get hurt. That's That's just my opinion in it. But it is their responsibility to their content and to the skills and to the methods that what they actually put out is correct. Because the outdoor survival bushcraft community, I think it's an important community. You can learn a lot about yourself and others and about skills and nature. And these survival hacks and, and hack creators are just dumbing it down in my opinion. And this is an example of a dangerous one. Oh, I've hardly touched my beer and I can feel it. I can feel it. Those were the ones I had for today. Some funny, some serious, some downright dangerous. Thank you for watching and thank you for all the comments on the other videos. Thank you for the support and likes. It's very enjoyable to read. And if you missed my latest short video, it's just me calling out this uh, female outdoor culture. Take two. It's my latest short. It's just me calling out this nonsense culture and calling all of them cunts <laughs> we all use those tactics sometimes but some are bigger cunts than others just don't always be a big cunt don't always do all this can make the outdoor culture better we apparently just have to be haters all the time <laughs> so on the bushcraft bullshit clubhouse i bid you auf wiedersehen <laughs>